Welcome to another lecture. In this, uh, we're going to solve this uh, horizontal curve uh, problem. Let's take a look at the problem. I'm going to read it from the screen. Uh, it says we have a horizontal curve to be designed for two-lane road in a mountain area, and they give us the following information. And so what I have done, I, brought, I, I made this up so you can understand the problem a little bit better. The problem says, okay, we have uh, uh, this horizontal curve. The PI station is at 2,700 uh, 2, plus 10.65, and the length of the tangent they're given to us, basically is from here to here, is equal to 436.76. You've got to remember, you get the problem, you're not going to get the sketch. You have to put things together. And so, again, look at the problem to relate it to the horizontal curve. The horizontal curve usually looks like this, and uh, we have uh, radius, and then we have the angle between the radius, which in here they're given to us as the intersection is 40 degree. And this will be the uh, length of the long chord, and this will be the length of our curve, and this is our tangent. They also they're given to us, they said this is road curve roadway, which you see on the picture, and uh, has a, the pavement has a friction uh, of, uh, of uh, 0 0.12, and the cross slope of the roadway is about 8%, which is pretty cool. So now they're asking, OK, find out what is the design speed for this uh, curved road, what is the station of PC, what is the station of PT, and then when we go ahead and lay out each 100 feet station coming this way, 100 feet here, 100 feet here, 100 feet here, 100 feet here, 100 feet, here, 100 feet here, all the way through, what is the, the first 100, the angle of deflection, and what is the chord length, and what is the uh, curve length? So we're going to work on that. All right, let's get to work. Okay, so we see, take a look at the PowerPoint, and we know this uh, equation, the tangent is equal radius uh, time the uh, tangent of uh, delta divided by 2. Basically, if you make a triangle going straight up this way, and you can find that uh, where, where your uh, t comes out to, right here, down, straight down. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, uh, modify this equation and say, oh, fine, the radius is equal to tangent divided, uh, t divided by tangent of delta divided by 2. And we have all this information. Our t is 436. 436.76. And divide that by uh, 40 divided by 2, which is a tangent of 20 degree. And that should give us about 1,200 feet for a radius. So our radius comes out to 1,200 feet. So if you clean this formula off, uh, basically this divided by 1, this time this equal this time that. And that become uh, that become uh, v squared is equal radius time fifteen time e plus f s. So now I'm going to come back down here. I say v squared is equal uh, radius was twelve hundred. We calculated that and multiply by uh, fifteen time. 0 0.08 plus 0.12, and that equals 3,600. Now my speed comes out to be 60 mile per hour. So that's answered this question. So let's look at the next station of the PC. So the station of the PC, remember the station, this uh, station coincide with this station here. And this station coincides with this station here. Because of the deflection angle, they might be a little bit different. So here, PI is 2,700. And we're going for B. 2,700 plus 10.65. Let's take off 436.7. That become four station minus. So I'm going to rearrange this. Instead of that, I'm going to say, how about if I write this as the same thing? That's equal. 26.99 plus 110.65. OK, that's the same station. All I took one station here, added to here. So I'm going to come back in here and say, OK, 26. 
0.65. Let me change color here. Marker is dying on me. Minus. I uh, got 436 that become four station plus 36.7 is it 76? 76. Okay, so uh, that become 73.9 or basically it's a 73.89. Yeah. And then you have uh, 26, 95. Okay, so PC become 26, 95 plus 73.89. And that's the same station. So right here is the same station and same station on, the, on this line. Uh, this line and this line, I mean these two lines. So the next station we're going to go ahead and move on to, it has to be next even station. This I'm going to exaggerate, this is a two right here, okay, and that's going to be station 2696, and it's going to coincide with, the, no, I wrote wrong, coincide with this other station right there. Then the next station is going to be right here 2697, and this will be 2697, but what is the deflection angle, how are we going to figure that out? So that was question number PC. The next one, they want to know what is the PT is. Well, to find this station, we're going to go ahead and calculate the length of this curve right here. Okay, let's find the length of the curve. Let me erase this, and then we can go ahead and calculate that. Okay, so the length of the curve is given by this equation. If you can see on a PowerPoint, our radius we already calculated was 1,200 feet. 1,200 times delta is 40 degrees time pi, 3.14, uh, I can do better than that, right? 3.14, and then divided by 180, and that will give me a uh, length of the curve. Let me see this marker is better. Um, 837, 76 feet. So that's the length of this curve. And then we, question says, what is the station PT? So PC is equal 26.95 plus 73.89. And then we're going to plus 8 station on uh, 37.76. Okay. I need to invest some money on these marker. Um, so that's going to become 111.65, so I'm going to say 11.65, and the 1 is going to go over and become 9. 9 plus 95, that makes it uh, 104, so that's a 2704. 2704 plus 11.65. Let me double check those numbers. This becomes 2704. No, let's do it again. Station 2704 plus 1165. Okay, so this was right this one. The next one says deflection angle, a cord length to the near first 100 foot station. The first 100 foot station will be from 2695, will be 2696 over there which will be 100 minus this number. Okay, so the next thing we know, the L1 is equal to R times pi divided by 180 times delta 1. Now, what is L1? L1 is the length of the our station right here. This is L1 right here. This is our L1, basically. Okay? L1 is right that. And from here to here would be C1. So this is L1. Okay, and it says equal this equation, and delta 1 is the deflection that is coming down right here. If I go in right here, and that will, whoops, that will be my uh, delta 1, and this will be delta 2, and here will be delta 1 divided by 2. So now we're going to go ahead and f isolate delta 1. Uh, delta 1 is equal, 
and all we gotta do is uh, this multiply by the reverse of that. So it will be L1 time 180 divided by R time pi. But we're looking for delta 1 divided by 2. So we're just going to divide this by 2, and I'm going to put 2 over here. All right, let's go ahead and populate this. L1 is uh, 28695 plus 73 to the nearest station. So it's going to be basically L1 is going to be 100 minus 73.89, which is equal. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. Uh, equal 100 minus 73.89. That's your L1. And then multiply by 180 divided by 2 times radius 1200. And multiply by pi. Pi is pi in your calculator. And if you calculate that, your delta 1 divided by 2 comes out to be Delta 1 divided by 2 comes out to be uh, 0 0.62 degree. We found this. We're looking for this right here, C1. So C1, it's going to be uh, from what do you have up there? 2 times R sine of uh, delta 1 divided by 2. And C1 is equal. 2 times 1,200 times sine of uh, 0.62 divided by 2, which is equal 26 feet, 0.11. So let's find out what the length came out here. Um, that's how many feet. And if we go ahead and do this, that's going to become the same thing, 26,11. So basically, because our curve is so big, this length of this uh, curve from to the first station is the same length of the cord to here. That's the arc. This is the cord. And that will take care of this last station. I hope you like this. And if you like it, I love your comments. And I like your thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. We'll see you in class.